liver it is the largest gland in the body which is reddish brown in color shape it is a wedge shaped organ situation it is situated in the mainly in the right hypochondrium and extends into epigastric and left hypochondrium parts it has an apex a base or right lateral surface and four surfaces anterior surface posterior surface superior surface and inferior surface it has a sharp border known as inferior border lobes of the liver it consists of two lobes right lobe and the left lobe the right lobe is larger than the left lobe and separated anteriorly by falciform ligament in addition to the right and left lobe there are two lobes two more lobes okay chordate lobe and quadrate lobe on the posterior aspect okay the chordate lobe is situated between the ligamentum venosum and the inferior vena cava ligamentum venosum and the inferior vena cava okay and quadrate lobe it is present between the gallbladder and round ligament gallbladder and the round ligament so it consists of two lobes right and left lobe okay in addition it has two lobes chordate lobe and quadrate lobe the chordate lobe and quadrate lobe are separated by a fissure or a gap known as hilum of liver or porta hepatis porta hepatis the structures present in the hilum of liver are number 1 okay hepatic artery which enters number 2 portal vein that also enters into the hilum number 3 hepatic duct which emerges from the liver so these three structures together the branches from these three structures together form portal triad blood supply it is the only organ getting both oxygenated and deoxygenated blood okay so blood supply by hepatic artery and portal vein okay. venous drainage hepatic vein now supply sympathetic from the fibers arising from celiac plexus of nerves parasympathetic vagus nerve histology of liver it consists of lobes or lobules okay hexagonal in shape so that is the characteristic feature of the lobe it is hexagonal in shape each lobe has a central vein each lobe has a central vein in the central vein okay yes from the central vein you can see radiating spaces Okay, there are spaces running radially. So from the central vein, okay, there are radiating sinusoids. Radiating sinusoids. Radiating sinusoids. The sinusoids are lined by. See this. This is sinusoid. It is lined by cells, rows of cells, a cord, C O R D, cord of cells. That cells are nothing but cells of the liver, known as. hepatocytes hepatocytes so the sinusoids are lined by hepatocytes okay the sinusoids contains okay or it is lined by endothelial cells present in the blood vessels okay and the kuffer cells are present in the endothelial line lining the sinusoids okay on the and 
angle or edge of the lobule, on the angle of the edge of the lobules, you can see a branch of hepatic artery, a branch of portal vein, a branch of hepatic duct. These structures together forms portal triode. Portal triode. So one sign I will repeat. Histology of liver. It has a number of lobules. Each lobe is hexagonal in shape. It has a central vein. From the central vein, there are numerous radiating sinusoids. The sinusoids are lined by liver cells, that is, hepatocytes, arranged in cords. Okay. The sinusoids inner aspect is lined by endothelial cells, okay, which also contains the puffer cells. At the angle of edge of the lobules, there is a branch of hepatic artery, a branch of portal vein, and a branch of hepatic duct. These three structures together forms the portal triode.